Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to The Simpsons Hit and Run. In the last episode, we proved to Krusty that there's an alien conspiracy going on, and we destroyed all of the laser gun stands that he had set up. So that should deal a massive blow to Kang and Kodos. And I'm very happy to be saying that because that was one of the hardest missions in the whole world when I was a kid. But fortunately, we did manage to get it done. So now we gotta drive to Krusty Burger to Android's Dungeon. Well, no, no, Krusty Burger next to Android's Dungeon, rather. And I believe that this should be the last level of, or the last mission, rather, of this level. I keep confusing those two terms in this Let's Play. No, no, a Let's Play, a, a Let's Play, no, a level, sorry, can't speak. No, a level is like a world, and a mission is an objective in that world, sort of. So, like, this whole area, this is the level, but the objective that we're given when we get to Krusty Burger, that's the mission. Like, that's the difference, and it's, it is a bit confusing, and oh, I forgot, this car is very weak. Like, if you crash into something at a very heavy speed, then you will start smoking up, like, something fierce. I don't know why I've been saying that so often in this Let's Play. I don't know. It sounds cool when I say it. Okay, so here we go. Krusty Burger is just over yonder, so who's waiting for us? Hey, it's Homer. Haven't seen him in a little while. Or at least Bart hasn't. Nah. So, Homer, what's going on? Dad, the aliens have taken over the Duff Brewery and they're using it to store laser guns. <laughs> Never in my life have ever had to do so much explaining. <laughs> what? This is Duff's worst disgrace since Duff Ice. <laughs> it's time to use my secret weapon. Remember when I told you I sold my old car so you could go to college? Yeah. It was a lie. <laughs> Yay, tough luck, Swarthmore. <laughs> Indeed. We got bigger fish to fry. So, Kang and Kodo strike back, race to the brewery before they escape. Now, I'm going to try a little trick that I seem to remember from my childhood. I might be remembering this wrong, but if I recall correctly, we want to drive in the opposite direction to the way the aliens are going. I believe that we want to drive this way. I can't quite remember, but I swear that when I was a kid, I did this and it got me to the brewery faster than them. Like, it says I'm in first place, but that I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping that this is the uh, correct way to do it. It could be. You never know. So I will try this once, and if it fails the first time and I wasn't even close to the Duff Brewery, then I might as well just do it normally. So let's see. Oh, out of my way, out of my way. There is a lot of traffic around here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, like I said, if Kang and Kodos get there first and we're not even close to the Duff Brewery, then I might as well do it legit. So let's see. Oh, okay. It still says we're first, but I'm not sure if it's getting confused. Uh, right, let's see. Oh, uh, according to the radar, the aliens are right around the corner. Okay, oh, I think this is entirely doable. I'm not sure if we'll get there first. I hope so. But, okay, come on. Oh, my God. It worked. I didn't even touch the finish line and it worked. There you go. That is what I like to see. I'm very proud of that. There you go. Cheap, easy exploits. Feel free to use them. Man, that sounds cool. I mean, oh no, I hope their plan fails. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Zombies eating brains? <laughs> oh, this is gonna rock. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, Bart's a bad little boy, but he makes it funny. I don't know. Well, anyway, story missions and bonus missions all sorted. Time to take on the final level. This is where it gets real. Now, not all of these missions should be horribly difficult, but the last few, oh boy, they're gonna tear us to shreds. So, aliens invade Springfield, evil cola causes dead to rise from grave, local brain wholesaler reports surge in business. Hey, Dr. Nick, how are you doing? So, here we go. Time to move on to the final level. And we got a skeleton on the sofa, that's pretty nice. Well, it's ideal. It... <laughs> ah. It's fe it feels nice to see those gags again. I miss this place. So yeah, it's officially Halloween. Perfect time for zombies to be rising from the graves. So, okay. We've only been recording for uh, 
a little bit so far, about, I don't know, six minutes or something. So we've got plenty of time to get another couple missions done. Oh, I love that moment when I was a kid. Okay, rigor motors. I think that's a pun on rigor mortis, but I don't even know what that phrase means. Okay, collect supplies to help fend off the zombies. Don't let time run out. And I really hope that rigor mortis isn't just common knowledge that I'm supposed to know, otherwise I'm going to feel embarrassed. Uh, right, uh, let's see. I believe that Flanders has built a big fence around his house, so we can't actually drive here, so we have to do some platforming. Well, I was hoping to save it for Rotter and Totter to, you know, bandage their brain-eater boo-boos. Look, just rub a Bible on them. <laughs> I work to fend off zombies? Who am I, Dr. Science? Okay, okay. Here's the first aid kit. Daddy, if the zombies are dead, why aren't they in heaven? I hope my brain feeds a poor hungry zombie. <laughs> Uh, he's got a point, you know. Okay, drive to Cletus' house. Now we are going to need our vehicle. And you might notice that this level has changed considerably since we were last here. Because now we've got brand new vehicles on the roads. Like, there's a very distinct Halloween theme. We have a brand new song in the background. It's a pretty good song. And now the cemetery is open. So yeah, sure enough, it did happen eventually. We just had to have a little patience. So, Cletus' house is right around the corner. Uh, what do we need? Boards, that's it. So now, what next do we need? I think we need a... Ah. <laughs> oh, I hear they're quite comfortable, to be fair. So, I believe that we need a chainsaw from Mo, because, you know, in the zombie apocalypse, you're going to need some kind of weapon. Mo, I need your chainsaw to chop up attacking zombies. But then how will I defend myself? Mo, Mo, Mo. Shouldn't the weapons go to save people who have loved ones? Ah. Yeah, I guess so. I think I made my point. Well, better go comb my hair before the zombies get here. Ah, my life stinks. That was the most depressing thing I've ever heard. And oh, I forgot, in this level the camera goes really wobbly sometimes for some reason. I think. Well, it's definitely happening now. I don't know, I seem to remember that at certain parts in this level you will see like a wobbly camera. Not, not sure what that's for. But yeah, anyway, it is pretty nice to see this level so revamped because now we got zombies uh, and witches and apparently vampires or whatever. Unless they're all zombies that happen to look like witches and vampires. But anyway, we've got uh, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Ce uh, the cemetery's open. We've got zombies on the streets. We've got witches and skeletons driving cars. We've got flying Dutchmen right there. That's pretty cool. And uh, is that it? Okay, mission complete. Pretty simple. Indeed. Uh, right, where do we want to go now? I can't remember. Uh, do we want to... Oh, drive to the school playground. Oh, that's a good thing because there is actually a bonus mission on the way there which I want to get taken care of. Whoa, what was that? Uh, okay, the crusty glass sound effect screwed up. There was writing all over that house that we passed through before we went to the um, crusty... The there. No, before we went through the crusty glass. And did I say passed through that house? No, passed by rather. Uh, more coins. We're going to need these. I believe that we need 500 coins at least for the uh, for the final uh, level. I think that's it. But anyway, here's the bonus mission. And there's the wobbly camera again. Like I said, not sure why it's there, but sometimes they just do it like that. Mr. Smithers, can you help me out? There's some scary, weird, godless, fascinating stuff going on. Not now, Simpson. Mr. Burns wants me to run some errands. But I have a brunch date. You know how it is. Whatever. Just give me the mission. Okay, this is it. The final bonus mission in the game. Flaming Tires. Help Smithers find the items for Mr. Burns. So, find the sock garters. Uh, you really want to pay close attention to the radar because there's some very strict time limits, but it's right on top of the Quickie Mart. And I believe that the um, I believe that the time limit is there for the entire mission, so don't slack, don't slack around too often. Oh, thank God. His socks have been cooling around his ankles for days. <laughs> and this is his favorite brand, Alan Quartermain's Keep Em Ups. Hmm, what's next? Uh, let's see. Doc Wundersteins or Wunderstein or whatever tooth powder. Uh, is that at the top of the, um, where is that? I can't quite tell. Oh, it's there. And oh, it's right next to the hidden vehicle for this mission. Uh, or for this level, rather. Okay, timed out. That didn't last long. 
Well, yeah, like I said, there's some very strict time limits that you have to adhere to, and you know what? It's probably a good idea to have a car on hand for this. Uh, maybe. Well, we don't need it for the sock garters. This is very close uh, to where we start, so it's not really necessary. There we go. And yeah, like I said, the time timid. Time timid. What is wrong with me today? Cannot talk. I cannot speak English in these videos for some reason. Anyway, the time limit with an L, for goodness sake, it's constantly ticking away. So, yeah, we need to stay on our toes. Uh, right, and like I said, uh, this is where we'll actually find the hidden vehicle for this level. I will show that as soon as I've gotten this stuff. As soon as I've gotten this... Wow. Um, okay, I seem to remember this mission being dodgy, but not this dodgy. Okay, wait. Can I drive a vehicle over the fire truck shortcut to get to, to the top of that roof? Oh, I might, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, very dodgy mission, really, really tight time limits. Oh, for God's sake, and it's only made worse by the fact that I fail at platforming. Right, let's see, 15 seconds. I think it always spawns a regular time limit for each new item. Right. Oh, we missed it by that much. Okay, you know what? This is probably getting boring to watch. I'm going to cut ahead until I've actually gotten that tooth powder or whatever it is. I would not expect this mission to give me more trouble than set to kill, but okay. Sometimes life gives you funny surprises like that. Oh my god, did you see that? I completely skimmed over it. That should have counted, you dirty, dirty video game designers. Oh, thank God for that. And you know what? I'm going to show the bonus vehicle while I can, just for the sake of it. It's a very speedy little RC car. Pretty funny. Uh, right, hopefully it's fast enough to get us to the last item. You have no idea how long it took me to get that. For some reason, it's just horribly dodgy. Oh, God. Find, yes, we have no bananas record. Wait, where is that? Is that, uh, okay, it's recommending I go through here. Uh, oh, is it next to the Lard Lad um, uh, statue? I think it is. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this one shouldn't give me too much trouble. No idea what it is about Doc Wonderstein, apparently, is how it's pronounced. Oh, okay, we got the time travel toaster as well. Apparently they placed it right on top of a collector's card. Okay, I'm not complaining. Right, I have no idea what it is about that second item, but they gave you a really strict time limit. So yeah, just drive over there and get on top of that building as fast as you bloody can. What does he need this for? Uh, Mr. Burns likes to vote all the exercise every morning. It keeps his muscles from falling off the bottom. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> great. Gotta go. Okay, bonus mission complete. Yeah, it's very short, but it's very dodgy. And we unlocked Mr. Burns' limo. Okay, now, I might as well steal this just for the sake of it. Actually, you know, what am I doing? I, I took a vow that I would show all of the vehicles after we'd unlocked them. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, are there any other bonus vehicles that I have to show? Uh, what? Uh, let's see, we showed the hover car. We still need to show Little Bandit. And, oh, of course, these are all the extra cars that I didn't buy along the way. Uh, let's see, we still need to show Little Bandit and Mr. Burns' limo. There's that. Lovely. No, it's okay. You are a secondary character, but you play it well. Uh, Mr. Burns' limo, it's all right. And I believe that Little Bandit's a pretty good car. Although, with that said, uh, oh, it's just called Bandit. Okay. <laughs> well, to be fair, we have actually used Bandit in the... Whoa, where's Snake? Apparently, he's not in this car as a co-driver. Okay, normally he would be. I, I think he would. That's kind of weird. I think that's a glitch. Okay, but yeah, Little Bandit is a really good car. Really nice to unlock. Uh, right, now, I just want to drive to the school playground. I will be doing one last mission if we can. And Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is where they completely revamped the school. It's now the Springwort School of Magicry. Yeah, that was from a Halloween episode. And there is a big floating spaceship right here in the middle of, uh, of the baseball field. Now, I do want to do this mission, but if I remember correctly, we do actually need to buy another vehicle, which requires at least 500 coins. I could be wrong, but I think it might. In which case, first I want to grab myself a few more coins just in case. 
Now, of course, I'm hoping that I don't need to buy this vehicle and I can do this mission uh, while I'm here. Otherwise, I will end this episode, grind a few hundred coins off screen, and yeah, then we'll be back and we'll uh, do one more recording session to finish this game, hopefully. Uh, let's see, collector's card, Human Cookbook. I believe that was inspired by the Twilight Zone. That was a good episode. Hey, you there, Smelly Sam. What's going on? The alien craft is using some sort of tractor beam to suck up trespassers to their doom. Worst effects ever. <laughs> That's real. Worst effects ever. Yeah. The cool black car. If my knowledge of sci-fi movies is correct, which it is, the black car is an advanced probe for the mother ship. Now, if we're through, I will spend my last hours on Earth complaining about movies on the internet. The gift of life is wasted on you. Yes, I recommend you obtain a zombie car. Oh no, we do. Well, but it runs on human brains. It's like drawback. I got plenty of those. Yeah, we do need to buy a zombie car for 500 coins. Oh, I really wanted to do this mission now while I was here, but uh, you know what? We only need 200 extra uh, extra coins. That shouldn't take too long to get, but I don't feel like showing that. So you know what? Yeah, considering how much trouble the bonus mission gave me for some reason, I think this is probably the best place to end it off. So I'll leave you with this wobbly camera angle because it looks funny. So anyway, that should do it for today. Thanks for watching, and next time on The Simpsons Hit and Run, we will be obtaining a zombie car and doing some stuff involving the alien probe or whatever. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, I was too... Yeah, exactly, I was too busy looking at Homer's really fancy shoes. Got a bit of dog muck on them, but it adds to the aesthetic. I don't know where that bit came from. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.